Well, my adventures with Superman Season 1 has totally wrapped up, and many fans really liked what they got. But now, we're waiting on Season 2, which has been confirmed in production, but what should we expect from this upcoming series? Well, they gave us a lot of clues this season, so I thought we could dive in and talk a little bit about what I think is going to happen in Season 2 of My Adventures with Superman. Well, we just finished up My Adventures with Superman, and I have to say, I really did enjoy the show. Now, let's be clear, this is a new take and really unique version of the Superman mythos, his family, his villains, and a lot of other aspects of the character that we've gotten pretty used to over the generations. Now, overall, I really enjoyed this season and do like the direction that they're taking it. This really is a cartoon about Lois, Jimmy, and Clark as friends and journalists, and that's given this a little bit of a unique flavor which I've enjoyed and really look forward to how season two shapes up. Now, I think there's five different directions the show could be headed in Season 2. It might take a little bit of a journey down each path. But I think overall, the show will continue to wrap itself around that Jimmy, Clark, and Lois relationship. It was one of the most appealing factors of the show. And the characters, even from the comics, have a long history of various adventures and altering relationships. Now, we knew all along the General was likely the General Lane. But now that we're starting to explore Lois's family, I do suspect a big part of Season 2 will continue that exploration of the Lion family, as well as the Olsons, giving us a much broader perspective on those two characters and how the friendship of the trio fits together. Now, one little tease this season gave us a peek into some multiversal potential adventures for Superman, and specifically as it surrounds Mr. Mixelplick. In the episode Kiss Kiss Fallen Portal, Mr. Mixelplick, who in this version is a fifth dimensional chaos god, showed absolutely that there are other universes of Superman. As a matter of fact, he teased other versions of the character, including the Timverse version, Fleischer's 1940 cartoon version, and even the Super Friends. Later on, the fact that we met the League of Lois Lanes this season, along with Lois's counterparts and variants of Jimmy, well, it's pretty clear that they are not backing away from the multiverse aspect of the DC Universe, and this introduction this season I absolutely loved because I thought it was pretty bold to dive in head first. We still have to deal with that recording of an evil version of Superman that Lois has in her possession that I'm 99% sure comes from another part of the multiverse. I'm sure it's going to be a big aspect of the upcoming season, and I really can't wait to see where it's going. Now, another area of the story it's clearly not over with yet is Superman's, well, rather contentious relationship with the U.S. government. We do know this organization is being led by General Lane, but more importantly, Amanda Waller. And if you're a fan of DC Comics, you know her association with Task Force X and how, well, bloodthirsty and relentless she is as a character. She really puts nothing off limits, including killing innocent people, unethical, ex and most commonly, exploiting jail time being served by criminals to expand her team of mercenaries. Now, by the end of the season, sensing General Lane's sort of fluctuating motivations, Amanda Waller actually gave him the boot as the chief officer in Task Force X, and is now under the command of another deep state organization called Checkmate. It's absolutely clear both of these characters are going to be back next year. I think this is just the first move in many, with a big expansion of Task Force X roster likely to come next season. Now, another area I think they're going to expand the show is a larger DC universe. In the first season, they did open up a couple of doorways into other DC characters. We met characters like Masur Mala, Deathstroke, and The Brain, as well as settings like Star City and Gotham City were all integrated into the storyline. We also met Vicky Vale, who has direct ties back to Gotham City, and more importantly, Bruce Wayne himself. And given the interconnective nature of almost all DC shows nowadays, I would not be surprised at all if we see some other characters from his DC universe specifically show up sometime next season. And honestly, the first one I would love to see would be Batman, giving us some sort of world's finest. Now, given we were teased with various universes this year, including the Timverse, we could see a Batman the animated series nod, but quite honestly, I really would rather explore the DC world that this version of Superman lives in than dive in that direction in the multiverse. Now, obviously, the big thing that's going to happen next year, and it's on everybody's mind, is the Kryptonian invasion. Now, the whole central plotline of this season really danced around the unique take on Krypton in this series versus other series. By the end of the season finale, it was revealed that General Zod and Brainiac were around the so-called alien invasion that initially brought Clark to Earth and gave us a massive hint in the direction the next season's going. It's pretty clear to me this is going to be a huge part of the upcoming season, 
and I think it's far from done. Based on those ending scenes from this season, I think Clark is in for quite a surprise, and we never saw Clark's mother show up this season, which we have seen character models for, so it's pretty clear to me she fits into the equation somewhere. The alteration of the Kryptonian origin and storyline seems to be working, and that was some pretty dangerous ground once again, so I am more than a little curious to see where they take this and how it ultimately works out. I find the integration of Zod and Brainiac working together, well, kind of an interesting take, since neither party typically plays well with others. This could be a crack in the armor and something for Clark and his Earthbound family to kind of wedge their way into and to find a way to ultimately defeat the Kryptonian invasion. Now, there are many aspects and directions Season 2 could be headed, but they really have seeded a great new world for the DC Universe with multiple potential paths, and I think all of these could be explored at one level or another. How deep they go in each direction is really unclear right now, and Season 2 is in pretty early stages of development, so I suspect we're going to have a long wait, and during that time frame we'll probably get a lot of clues. How this ultimately works out, we're going to have to wait and see, but I am excited for Season 2 of My Adventures with Superman.